Hey everyone, just wanted to show you this uh, project I'm going to be doing today. I bought some of this flex seal here because on this whole side of the motorhome, there's a lot of little holes like the size of a BB. Uh, I think it's from the deterioration of the frame because it's just such an old motorhome, you know, and it's aluminum on the outside. There was a leak in the ceiling for a long time, so probably all that moisture helped with the deterioration of that. So I was just going to go cover it up. I have experimented with this in the back here with the leak in the back of the window and that matches really well with the paint so that's why I chose the white kind here. Um, they have it in clear and in black but I'm gonna be using this kind today. I also use it in the bathroom because I'm gonna be pinning up RFP panels soon. So I put it in the cracks here just so no water drips out in case if there was any leaks because that was where most of the holes were at. So I'll show you what those holes look like really quick. So these are just some of the holes I was mentioning here. So you see there's one right there. You know, um, they have been kind of kept up with, with liquid nail, but that's not really a permanent solution. And the solution I'm using, too, is not actually really permanent, but it works really well. Um, I've had good results with it. Who knows how long it's going to last, but you see it's not really covering there. I got to clean all this up, but I got a couple of them here. It's mainly on this side. I don't plan on driving the motorhome anytime soon, so... You know, I have time to really kind of do this, and eventually, if I did want to take it out, paint it. But it actually looks pretty good when it dries. I'll show you what it looks like when it's dry here. So it's not too bad, you know. I don't really care. But there is tons of little holes here. I was having a pretty bad leak back here, but it sealed it up pretty good. You can't even notice it. I need to do it a little better, though. It's good for the windows, too, see? But I'll show you what it looks like. Here's kind of like a before, so you guys can see what it looks like for right now. I gotta clean it off and then go over it. So I'll show you what that looks like. All right, so a lot of people are gonna think I'm crazy, but um, yeah, this is half of the motorhome painted with uh, painted with Flex Seal. <laughs> uh, I think I think it came out pretty good, you know. Uh, I'm not done yet because it just started raining. But it holds up really well. Like I said, I had holes all along the back um, side of the paneling here, like little small ones. I'm sure you can kind of can kind of see. Yep, you can see them. So there was a lot of them. Um, yeah, definitely. I'm gonna have to put some like silicone or caulking over that. But um, right now, I think all the small ones and kind of to prevent any more holes forming, I think the flex seal is gonna work pretty good. Um, it's going to be a process though because a gallon of flex seal is like $89.99. So um, it's going to be a process painting the whole thing white with flex seal. But I think it looks pretty good. It stays on there pretty well. Like look over here. Like look how nice this came out. I know it's just this section but around the windows and everything. And it like gets in the cracks and stuff and that's what you want you don't want to have leaks in the cracks and everything so i think eventually i'm gonna paint the whole thing with flex seal and my motorhome will be painted with flex seal so i'll let you guys check that out once it's done